This is just the beginning. More protests on the way. I shall you so threatened. We have not seen the end of Ensa's protest, says Aisha Yusuf, the great human rights activist and supporter of the Ensa's movement. She retreated this opinion of hers and that of the Ensa's movement on Tuesday, December 8, 2020, when she said that the demonstration against police brutality have not ended, despite the decision by the federal government to prevent another round of protests. Nigerian boots within the outside the country and the world at large witnessed for close to two weeks in the month of October how numerous citizens took to the streets in practically all the nooks and crannies of all the states of the Federation to exercise their rights to peaceful protest and to vent their frustration on their standards of living and to protest particularly against police harassment and brutality under the NSAS campaign. The protest initially began peacefully and was well organized by all involved, but the passage of time thing took an ugly turn as it was it according to many dubiously hijacked by suspected hoodlums who launched attack on police stations, correctional facilities, prisons, courts and other government and private properties across the country. Seven Nigerians, including security operatives, lost their lives during the violent crisis. As a result of the past negative occurrence, the Minister of Police Affairs, Mohamed Dengeyadi, speaking with members of the press after a meeting of the National Security Council, NSC, on November 17, quoted President Mohamed Buhari as saying that he will do whatever it takes to ensure a repeat of NSAS protests does not occur in Nigeria. As a follow-up to the statement by the President, there was heavy security presence in selected locations across the country on Monday, following reports of a proposed gathering by youth and citizens for a repeat of the protest. Meanwhile, Aisha Yusuf, however, speak with correspondents from Arise mm -hmm. TV on Tuesday 8, 2020, said the federal government and police have no right to place a ban on peaceful protesters especially when they are unarmed. According to her, the police and security personnel only needed to inform of the protest so they can protect the activities, adding that the allegiance of the police should be to the Nigerian people and constitution, not to the president. I would say the Nigerian police should understand that their allegiance is to Nigerian and the Nigerian people and the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not to the president and the ruling party. And the right to protest is guaranteed under the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, she said. We have not seen the end of NSAS protest. Protests came in different forms and I tell you, this generation is sick and tired of being honed to death. Why the federal government is working hard to ensure that a repeat of the protest does not occur. It is more imperative for them to fix the problem that generated the protest in the first place. In the opinion of many, Nigerians are weary of a second phase of this protest, especially those who lost loved ones and businesses, but they are more interested in an improved standard of livelihood as things are not easy for the common man. Hopefully, the President Buhari led administration would hack into the cries of the citizen and avoid a repeat of the NSAS protest. Thank you for listening to this news. <laughs> with what I am saying, my viewers, with what I am saying, <laughs> if care is not taken, there will be a repeat of what has just been done. I'm telling you, with what I am saying, if nothing is done concerning this with immediate effect, we are going to have a repeat of what has just happened. Mm -hmm.
You will see that now. You will see I told you. Our Nigerian governments are too promising and failing. And that is that is one thing about them and it is wrong. It's not good. They made a promise to these youth that that they will do something about it. That they will do something about it. That they promised them that the youth should leave the road. They will do something about it. Since the youth has left the road, have they been able to do anything about it? Have they? Nothing has been done about it. You see that? And if the youth angrily go back to the streets, they too, will, that is when you now see them coming out with their ugly faces and their ugly voices, calling the youth all sorts of names. Whereas they have forgotten that they are they made a promise and they refused to keep to it. And you know the worst part is that these people have forgotten that they too are one time youth. They are one time youth. So when they were youth, were they were, were they treated the way they are treating this youth now? Were they? Now the, for the youth that were massacred. Mm -hmm. What measures have they have, have, have they applied to see to the to the to the quick to the to the to 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 to, to the um, remedy of of their situation? Nothing. Nothing is being done about it. They haven't done anything about it, and that is what is annoying the parents of the youth. Last, I think, two weeks two weeks ago. The parents of this youth came out in mass to protest. They protested in mass because justice has not been gotten for their children. For the youth. Mm -hmm. eh? My viewers, we cannot just sit down and say, youth, don't protest. It's a lie. The youth will protest if nothing is done concerning the situation they made it they requested for something and that thing has not been granted to them so if that thing has not is not granted to them the youth will protest hear their voice and grant them their request that is what they are asking for Obato. they are not asking for too much yeah so my dear viewers please and please you have to come in and air your own opinion concerning this issue deem it free to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you